this is nice. Got my own porch. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot. Um, this hotel is just meant for me. What else do they have around here? Got a nice bathroom too. Well, I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap because I woke up around 3 a.m. in the morning, only got two hours of sleep, and had to take three flights just to get here. So I am beat up. I'm gonna charge my camera too, it's about to die. But I am here, Long Beach, and I believe the big stuff happens tomorrow. A lot of talented creators are here at the Sony event, so I can't wait to meet everyone. To summarize this all up, Sony invited me about a month ago to join them for this VIP experience. They're taking us to Catalina Island. I've never been there before, but by the pictures of it, it just looks absolutely beautiful and I cannot wait to explore there. It's gonna be tomorrow around the afternoon. All the tours that are tomorrow are gonna be like these action sports stuff and I'm not really that type of dude. Sony gave me a private tour and I'll be exploring this very old casino. It was like one of the very first buildings that was ever made on Catalina Island and there's a lot of history, a lot of cool architecture in it. So I'll be doing that by myself probably and I cannot wait to do it because it's going to be an amazing place to explore and you know I'm going to have the honor to just be there by myself. This is what I love about California weather like the mornings and the evenings it just cools down. Right now it's like maybe 40 degrees and to Californians that's like really cold and freezing cold but yo know, that's like perfect cold temperature right there where you can just wear a t-shirt and feel fresh at least at least for me but you know that's probably because I'm not from here I'm from the northern east coast here we are okay let's see what they have yo this looks good community and sharing the stories of our community out there. Community is super important to us and you probably have seen this through things like the Alpha Imaging Collective, um, our social channels, we're very active on there with our communities, and even Alpha Females, a new program we recently launched to support female creatives in the industry. So always, you know, focused on the community and really rely on the community for things like product feedback, um, and content and really telling the stories of creators out there. Other thing, obviously, that's a, a cool piece of today is we launched our A6400 camera last Tuesday. So we know exclusive access to product and things like that is really important for you guys in your channel. So everybody will get access to an A6400 and you will be one of the very few people um, who have had the chance to play with this camera. It hits retail in February, so nobody else has had the chance to do this other than some traditional press that were with us last week. So very, very cool opportunity for you. Enthusiast market. Uh, this camera, the main selling points of this guy is number one, it's very, very fast. This has what we call a fast hybrid AF system with brand new, as we call it, real time uh, tracking for that focusing. What that gets you is a better experience for both stills and video, keeping your subject in focus, which is generally what we all want, right? It's also a very easy to use camera, very intuitive. Um, one thing we've heard a lot is everybody wants touch operation improved, and we've certainly seen that on the A6400, including a very simple just touch to track. So when you're out there shooting, um, it'll be set up so you can just tap on your subject and it'll automatically track, track the subject. So you've got all these features, but it's packed into a very small camera, right? I mean, mirrorless, obviously the big benefit is we can keep your professional quality and keep that size down. But brand new, we do like to call out for that vlogging market, is that flip up screen, okay? And when on the demo units we have out here, we also have brackets for your uh, microphones. Um, so you'll be able to uh, use full functionality with no problem. Um, and also we want to call out brand new, and we'll get into a little bit more, is the interval recording on the camera. 
The biggest thing we've been calling out is the autofocus system. It's really a game changer in terms of how well it tracks your subjects. And this is enabled by our artificial intelligence that's built into the camera. Previously, what we've been searching for in the camera like for the focusing system was a face and the eye. But now it's taking it a step, uh, step further. We're adding color and pattern and improved distance um, calculations as well to get what we call real-time processing. So you'll see this, um, at, especially during that touch to track functionality. Okay? So we have some videos here to demonstrate that. See, it's, keep, it's holding on to the skateboarders easily and switching subjects as needed. So what it, for stills, just these are really busy slides that the marketing department from Japan sends us, which is great because we get lots of information. The downside is there's lots of information. Um, long and short, uh, if you're doing stills, one of the biggest changes is now the IAF is essentially always engaged. So it used to be that you had to push in a button and then the camera would find and track an eye. And now you just put halfway down on the shutter release or the AF on button and it automatically searches for you. That autofocus speed is now the world's fastest at 0 0.02 of a second. I can't do anything that fast, so the camera is definitely faster than me. And it covers 84% of the frame, uh, which essentially covers the whole frame for all intents and purposes. Here's a little image of what, when you're out there testing, this is in, means that real-time tracking is engaged. And compared to, say, like the A6300, which this camera essentially replaces, what you're keeping is the 11 frame per second shooting, but the buffer is increased, and we're up to eight frames per second now in silent shooting as well. The image quality, again, really busy slide. I apologize for this. Long and short, with our new processor in this model, you're getting better low light performance. You're getting better color gradations as well, and it's enabling that better autofocus. And then specifically for that video market too, big call out is for the uh, HLG, which is essentially an instant HDR workflow. Uh, when you're shooting 4K. It's very durable. The shutter is rated up to 200,000 cycles. And of course, we do have uh, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity built into the camera. Uh, we have a new app coming out in March. We don't have it available for you today to try, but it'll be called Imaging Edge Mobile. Uh, compared to our previous models, uh, you're getting more functionality control over the camera on your phone, and you're also being able to uh, transfer full 4K video from the camera. Uh, to your phone as well. And that's all I've got. There's a lot more on the camera. So you guys have all day. Please feel free to stop and ask us anything you want. How's it going? Good, how are you Steve? Good, good. I only know your name. Do you have a name tag? Yeah. <laughs> My real name is Steven. Maybe it's under that. Steven what? Perfect. Yeah. All right, awesome, thanks. See you a lot, so this will come in handy. <laughs> So I am officially vlogging on the Sony A6400. And this is how it looks. I'm using the lens uh, 10 millimeter by 18 millimeter. It's like it's a Sony lens OS. I never used the A6300 series before. I just got packed up and we're about to leave to this island in about 30 minutes. A new light on mine. Oh my God. Yeah, man. Yeah. Interesting you know. setup. Hi, man. Light. Always seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo guys, check out uh, Justine's walkie-talkie right there. Walkie That's her new iPhone right there. Yeah. <laughs> new iPhone 11. Yep. Exclusive look into it. SOS. You can tweet from it. Nah, that's just like um, some... What's, what's this actually called? A satellite phone. I've never even heard of that. But like... Yeah, I really do. I might consider it. <laughs> yeah, send me the link. Yeah, yeah, we got Craig Adams. Look at this setup right here. He's got Kool-Aid in his bag tag. <laughs> so it begins. Find uh, and then and my, you are, Steve. Thanks. I'm using my lens that I have in ND. Yeah. I'm not even gonna use right now, everyone's just signing up for these. We got a big crowd going on here. We got a full house. <laughs> Top deck to ourselves. It's our private boat. Everyone, all the other peasants are on their own boat, but Steve and I. Yeah. This is just for us. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. We got the best view. Yeah. Oh, it's a little back deck right here. Sick. 
Really cool that we have a private boat. Yeah. All that YouTube money. Exactly. <laughs> Surprised no one else is up here. Right? No one else. We're true explorers, man. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, we have another true explorer. Craig Adams. How long until everyone realizes they can come up here? <laughs> Yo. Cool. All right, check it out. We're gonna take the nine and put it into the middle of the pack like so. Okay. Justine, can you snap your fingers for me? Did you see that? The magic move. The no! card came straight to the top. I'm sure. oh, into the middle again. So it's doubly in the middle. It's not a word, but I'm from the south, so. All right, check it out. It's not on top yet. Do the snap for me. Snap. Slow motion. Yeah. Did you see it? It happened. Right when you snapped, it came straight to the no! top. No! I will do it again one more time. How's he doing that? <laughs> this time I'll bend it in half so you can tell from the back of the car that that's your car. It's got the hump in the middle. See? Yeah. On three, do the snap for me. Here you go. One, two, three. Oops. On three. One, two, three. Boom, that's when it happens. No! There it is. Okay, so we're getting closer to the island now. Check this out. Trying to see. I don't know. Well, that looks dope. That would be such a cool shot to take. I think that's the casino I'll be touring. One of the oldest buildings here. The group that signed up for the first 4x4. Four four. Yes, so follow Brittany. She'll tell you where to go. But then I'm going to the area. Don't. Uh, you can walk. You can walk. Um, come with me. Uh, well, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Come with me. See, let me turn you over to Marianne. Okay. Gentlemen, it's going to do the tour. Hello. Hi, nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, Marianne. Nice to meet you. I'm Shay. Steve. Steve. Nice to meet Steve. you. Perfect. We don't really have a time limit for you, so cool. take all the time you want. Awesome. Okay? Sweet. Cool. All right. Yeah. We had Native Americans over here, and then um, the town has been an actual like town since yeah. um, 1913, I think. Wow. Yeah. So. It's yeah. a nice place. Long history. Yeah. We're excited to have you guys over here. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And not a lot of people come. Like, we always get people going, yeah, I've never been to Catalina. I grew up in California, but I've just never gone. I'm like, why? <laughs> it's an hour boat ride. Well, not for you guys yeah. today, but yeah. like, typically it's just an hour, so it's kind of like, why would you not? Like, and it's yeah, different. It's beautiful yeah, already, it's I can tell. Yeah. yeah, perfect. Yeah, you guys got super lucky because yeah. like yesterday it was cold and cloudy, and today it's just like perfect sunny. As it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> Like it knew it needed to be photographed today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so people live here too, huh? Yeah, I grew up over here. Whoa. Yeah. So how do you get to like school before? Like, um, is there a school here? Yeah, we've got a preschool and then uh, K through 12. What's the population? So, 4,000. That's yeah, small. Yeah, yeah year round residents only 4,000. Oh my god. And then gosh. Um, our school, when I was in school, it was 750 for everyone. So elementary, middle, and high school. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then my class had 68 people. My brother's class, I think, had 30. Um, this is like my small town, too. It's like a population of like 4,000 people as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, my classroom was just like 50 people. Really? Max in one so classroom. You, you get it, yeah. 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 <laughs> Walk through town again, you're going to be like, oh, whoa, <laughs> there's like no one here. Um, so, yeah, winter times, it's pretty dead. Um, okay. You basically just see everybody that you already know. And then <laughs> if you do see somebody that you don't, you're like, oh, they're visiting. Yeah. I bet so. everyone here knows each other. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> so here we are, guys. That looks stunning. So we'll start down in the theater. Yeah. And then um, we'll just work our way up. Wow, look at the walls. What about the, the artwork? Like, this is so this is all, everything that you see is original. Yeah. Um, this did get redone in the 80s, um, but it just basically got repainted. Okay. Um, but it was, all of this artwork out here is by the same man that did the Chinese drama, the drama Chinese drama okay. in um, Hollywood. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So there may be a tour going on. Maybe, maybe you're hearing ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought there was a tour. Well, there's not. Okay, cool. So this is the lobby. Yeah. Everything in here is original. 
Wow. Yeah. So all from the 1920s. Do you know like the also like the cause of it? Like um, it was a little over a million. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Which is I'm sure back then. Back then, a like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. That's beautiful. So same thing, this artwork was done by the same man that did the Chinese theater in Hollywood. Wow. Uh, yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> oh, those faces too. Uh-huh. They're comedy and tragedy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it made of clay? Uh, that's oh. a good question. <laughs> Looks like it. Most of the artwork, most of the stuff in here is, so it's all like stucco and then painted on. Um, okay. Hmm. Wow, so it's gonna take a little bit of time for me to film this place. Um, I'm, I can be here as long as I want, but probably like I'll be here for like maybe three to four hours until I have to catch the other Sony guys. But um, <laughs> oh my god, yo, do you hear my voice? Okay, so if you're, whoa. So right now I'm like in the center of this theater, and my voice you can hear it everywhere right now. Hello. Like and subscribe. Oh my God. That's trippy. It's letting me test out the Sony A6400. It's not even in storage yet. It's gonna be released from like a month from now. So I got first dibs. So this video is basically gonna showcase its capabilities and its features. Right now I am filming in 4K, 24 frames per second. Uh, during those cinematics, I was filming in 1080p at 120 frames per second. Very smooth, very nice. Yeah, the quality in this thing, I'm, I'm starting to love it. And if I were to be a beginner and getting started in vlogging, I would get this camera for sure. Center. That's the coolest piece of art I've ever seen. That's so beautiful. I honestly can't believe I'm here right now. It's like very magical feeling. Okay, I think I showed off this room pretty well. We're gonna head up to the projector room now. It's right above over there. That's an old painting, so I'm sitting. Huge like celebrity status yeah. names back then. So cool, just walking through these halls. Yeah. That. So this is this is for like yeah. the box seats. So okay. we can open. No, no, this is very good. Let's do it. So, Let's Perfect spot to watch the movie. Now that's a view. Yeah, and this is where the Wrigleys would sit when they would come to watch the movie. Okay. And fun little tidbit, this uh, movie theater actually is the first World's Talking movie theater. Ever. Wow. Yeah. First World's Talking. So what does so, that mean? Like, like a first, like, you know how they used to call them talkies? Yeah. When they first started coming out? This uh -huh. is the first theater built for that. That's crazy. It's all the way out here. You're right? Like, on it's an a island. A random little spot. Yeah. <laughs> We got people writing the names and dates, and they could be celebrities that've been here. That is definitely because she was here for the film festival okay. that we have. So. Wow. Yeah. We got W. H. Macy. Who else? If you guys recognize any names, leave a comment in this video. We got 
shotgun tongue. Kelly. He's a DJ. Home Rob Riggle. He's up there, up on the right. Is that Stan Lee? Kind of looks like it. That looks. <laughs> I kinda. would be surprised. I think it is. No. He's, he's yeah. He's been here, Jason Ritter. Yeah. Like I said, we have um, oh Jamie King. Yeah. We have um, a film festival here every year, and we honor people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's a flyer from the film festival. Okay. But um, she did live over here uh, for a little over a year. She married a man that was in the Navy. Wow. And um, I think she was about 16 or 17 years old when she was here. That's Marilyn Monroe, guys. She lived here on Catalina Island. Check out these projectors. We have a little bit of information right here. 1939. And like it's just cool seeing these stuff in like really good condition still. We got top seats right now. People are actually watching a movie on the history about the this real island. The treasure for Catalina turned out to be the famous Catalina tile. In 1926, clay deposits were transformed into a modern pottery factory. I think we're heading up to the very top floor. So this is called the mezzanine level. So mezzanine, this is okay. essentially like the middle level in between the ballroom and the theater. I see. Um, so again, back in the 30s and 40s when this place was roaring, uh -huh. um, they had a coat check over here. So everybody would come up, drop off their coats, hats, whatever, get a little ticket. So still, they don't use it unfortunately anymore, but it is still here. Then, we go around over here, there's a little place called the Marine Bar, and they would use that for like cocktail hour. Okay. Before they went up to the ball and drank more. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our cute little Marine Bar. Um, mm -hmm. They yeah, used to really use cute. it sometimes, but not that often. Mm -hmm. As you can tell. <laughs> yeah, I like the colors in this yeah. building too. Yeah. Are these the original colors as well? They are. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The, everything is pretty much pristine as far as like having changed from the 20s and 30s. Like it's just the same. The ramps. Yeah, what's with Wrigley, the ramps? So Wrigley wanted to have them be ramps because he likes the flow better going up and down to the ballroom. Oh, okay. And he chose to do that because he liked it so much at Wrigley Field. Oh, I see. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. You can see the view yeah. from outside. Oh, Oops, no, it's okay. <laughs> won't go out there as well. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. So this is the world's largest circular ballroom. Really? Yes. And this floor is suspended. It's got a layer of cork underneath, so that way when people are up here dancing, you can't hear them in the movie theater. And then those are Tiffany chandeliers. There's six of them up there. Jeez. <laughs> One, two, so three, four. Nice. Yeah, I see five. Looks like there was a, a party going on before with the balloons. Yes, so these are from the New Year's Eve party. Heading out to the, I guess I could call this like a porch area or deck. You can see the, a good view of where we're at. I think out of the, I don't know, 50 people from Sony, I'm like the only one here right now. This is absolutely beautiful right here. Throughout this whole video, I've been filming with the um, 18, no, the 10 millimeter by 18 at F4 
and um, I have a couple more lenses here that I haven't tried out. So with this B-roll sequence, I'm gonna test them with the A6400 and yeah, hope you guys enjoy them. Let's see how it looks. So I'm gonna try out the 24 millimeter 1.8. I like it a lot because you know, you get uh, a lot more bokeh and my face just pops. So this is a great lens for just subjects and objects. Lastly, we'll try out the 18 by 135. I think this lens is amazing for this camera because you can just get so many perspectives and it's crazy how I can zoom into 135 so yeah I think this is one of my favorite lenses for the camera but I'm gonna go back to this to the 10 by 18 and get an, an entire shot of this ballroom and I think I'll end the video there What a day at Catalina Island exploring their historical casino by myself. That place is definitely a gem in the world. Like entering the casino just felt like I wasn't on planet Earth anymore. And you'll never find, it's very rare to find those places that just give you a magical feel. So you know, I'm honored to just be there. Especially with the people that's been in the casino, like Stan Lee, like Marilyn Monroe, crazy. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, pretty cool. I got to test out the A6400 with this before release day. And I hope it was very helpful, yet very inspiring and adventurous for a video to watch. Um, so if you did like it, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification button bell because we put out epic adventures every single week. Leave your comments and thoughts down below on the camera. I'm curious to hear about them. Do you like the camera? Do you not like it? For me, I like it a lot. The autofocus on this is the fastest I've ever seen. Um, picture quality is just as good as the A7 series. Um, so really, I have no complaints at all. Definitely recommend it. If you do want to purchase the camera, links will be down in the description. But okay guys, until next time, 